guys, peace of Christ to all of you. For today's video, we will see how a very wise Muslim survived the fury of the Christian prince. Let's watch this. Hello? Shalom, my friend. How are you doing? All right, so uh, you are listening to us, my friend, because I see you saying, you are, can I call you? And I said, sure, you know, I will call you. So are you listening to what we say? Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, so how... Can you hear now? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. If you can speak louder, that will be better. How, how you Muslims, you say that yeah. Quran is the book of God, and all the Quran is made by God, and then we find that the Quran say Shaitan said, and said the following. So is the Quran, all of it is made by God, or there is some of it is made by Shaitan? Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, uh, we Muslims, we believe uh, that uh, Quran is the word of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, it is not from, uh, from Shaitan or Shaitan or mm. Shaitan mm. or from any other source. It is only from the creator of the heavens and the earth. So uh, the question is, so uh, how uh, is it possible that uh, it is from Shaitan? Actually, no, uh, it, is, it is only from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. But yeah. uh, can you read with me chapter 7 so, as, an, as an example? Chapter 7, verse number 12. It says, I am, he said, I am better than he. You created me from fire and you created him from mud. Who is talking? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is Satan said. Actually, this is because uh, of his arrogant and uh, egoism, I can say arrogant. And, uh, He have created me out of fire, and you have created him out of uh, clay or dust. Doesn't so matter. Why, not, why shall I? Uh, my friend, from I'm, this is not the question. This is not the question. I'm not talking about if Shaitan is a good guy or not. Now, I'm saying you just told me that yeah. all the Quran is from God, but here it says that he said that. Who is the one who said those sentences? Shaitan. Is it Allah who said, "I am better than he"? You created me uh, from God fire, and you created him from mud. Okay. Who is the one who said that? Yeah, okay. Who is the one who said so, that? Yeah, yeah, uh, God, yeah. God Almighty, He mentioned what uh, Satan he, he said. Okay. Uh, he's accused. So uh, He mentioned. Okay. Yeah. So exactly now we agree that the one is talking here is Shaitan. He said Shaitan said that. Is Allah lying yeah, when He say? Uh, is Allah lying when He yeah, said Shaitan? He said that, or it's a true? This is He what He said. Yeah, of course. God Almighty, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He mentioned what what Satan said. For example, for example, uh, He mentioned what Noah said for, uh, to His people. Exactly. His so now, my friend, don't so say topic. Don't say topic. You, you, I yeah. think I think you are not listening, my friend. I am saying if the Muslims and the Quran say nobody can make Quran like this, you cannot even make a, a verse like this. So this verse is made by Shaitan. So, what's your logic, actually? I, I don't know. My logic is, my logic is, is the Quran. Who is the one? Who is who is yeah. the one was responding and adding the letter Yin at the end? Like here, if we read together, قال ما منعك ألا تسجد إذ أمرتك قال إني خير من خير منه خلقتني من نار وخلقته من طين. Okay, Shaitan. We have a bad connection. Too bad. Hello? Uh-oh. We lost the guy. Hello? Yeah, my dear brother, I can hear now. Okay, my friend. So, when, when Shaitan, he added the words, Yeah responding to Allah and he make it in the same tone how do you explain that to me so Allah he said in the word before Sajideen Shaitan he answered to him Mintreen Allah said to him Sagireen Shaitan said to him Mundreen so what is this how Shaitan is yeah, answered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned 
my dear brother, uh, what I understand is this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned what Satan replied, yeah? Hmm. Uh, Satan said, he mentioned it in the Quran. For example, uh, let me give an example. And before giving uh, giving the example, I want to share one verse. Chapter 26, please check. Chapter 26, verse number 210. Uh, it is mentioned, وَمَا تَنَزَّلَتْ بِهِ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لَهُمْ وَمَا يَسْتَطِعُونَ إِنَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّمْعِ لَمَعْزُولُونَ hmm. Chapter 26, verse number 210. Hmm. So, uh, it is mentioned that the devils, the Satan, have not brought the revelation down, the Quran, and it is not allowable, it is not possible for him, for them, uh, nor would they be able, they will never be able to do, uh, to, to reveal the Quran, because, uh, what, what is the reason? The reason is, إِنَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّمْعِ لَمَا عَزُولُونَ, chapter 26, verse number 212, that indeed they, from its hearing, the hearing uh, from the Quran, of the Quran, are removed, uh, they are far away from uh, from hearing the Quran. So this is not from Satan. But in that verse you were quoting, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned what Satan replied to uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he ordered him to prostrate in front of in front of uh, Adam or Adam alayhi hmm. uh, and, and the second point is what this have to Allah do with my what this have to do what this have to do with my question? Yeah, your question is, uh, who, who is speaking here, right? Who is speaking here that uh, you have created me out of uh, fire uh, and you have created Adam out of uh, clay? So who is speaking? This is the question, right? No, the question is, how shaitan, mm -hmm. words is in the Quran, and how he is answering using the same rap music or tone to Allah, and make it equal to him in equality. If I ask you now, this part of the verse, is it a good equality in Arabic or it is a bad equality? Where Shaitan, he said, I am better than he, you created me from fire. Is that a good equality of Arabic or equal to the rest of the Quran or it's a bad equality? Yeah. So, so the question is, that uh, uh, Satan, he, he actually he, he was replying that uh, I am better than him. So, my dear brother, actually I could not understand what you are trying to say because uh, what I said is this: God Almighty mentioned. Okay, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. If we have a book and the book is written by, by one person, but then this person he is quoting somebody else, the quotation have a language. It's a language, right? Then I'm yeah, asking you now, is the, is the quotation in the language, is it better equality than the rest of the book or it's the same equality or it is less equality? Yeah, yeah, I don't know actually, I, I, I'm not understanding this issue. Uh -huh. What do you mean understand? You understand very well. Yeah. Okay, so you understand very well. I want an answer. You don't know what to uh, say, right? Made yeah. it clear, uh, chapter two, No, you don't make it clear. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what chapter okay. you quote. I don't care what chapter yes. you quote. I'm asking you, is this sentences made by shaitan or by anyone? Is it the same equality as the rest of the Quran or it is less equality as Arabic? No, it is the, it is the, it is mentioned in the Quran. It is, uh, it was the language. So, uh, what do you mean by it is the same quality or not? Okay, it was, oh, you must tell me you say nobody can make Quran like the Quran, and then you are saying to me that this is Shaitan is talking, and now I'm asking you, is the quality of Shaitan talking is equal to the rest of the Quran talking? Quality of language, quality of uh, uh, of it words. Is, uh, what, what, Hmm? Yeah, okay. So, which one? Who Who is better equality? Yeah, my dear brother, please. Uh, okay, first, uh, okay, let me check. First of all, give me the reference you are quoting from uh, Shatana. Uh, which verse? Uh, chapter Chapter 7, verse number 12. I said I said, I said said that to you from the beginning. It doesn't matter. There's many verses, by the way. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't matter, really. Yeah. Okay. So, 
is the quality of shaitan words in the Quran are equal to the quality of Allah words in the Quran. But uh, when we say shaitan words, that means, uh, no, no, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning what, what shaitan said. Yeah, they reply. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Allah is... Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see the previous verse, yeah? I heard you, I heard you, I heard you swallowing your tongue. I understand. Listen, I mean, the question is very simple. There is two, there is, there is a sentence made by shaitan, and there is a sentence made by Allah. Both of them, they are located in one page. Both of them, they are in Arabic. Which one of them is better quality as language, as a strength, as a clarity, as power, as tone, is the words of Allah better than the verse which is shaitan he said, or the verse of shaitan is better than Everything Allah? Everything in the Quran, every single word in the Quran, Allah is mentioning, informing us. And shaitan, what shaitan say? This is this is the same quality, yeah? Because uh, this is not shaitan uh, uh, is to, uh, talking to us. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, Allah, so guys, it's not shaitan talking to us. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, are you saying, are you saying that when Allah he said that shaitan he said he is lying, he is changing the words? Are you saying that when Allah he said he said I am better than he? Allah is not quoting shaitan word by word. Allah is lying. My dear brother, Allah, if, if you say, if you reply something, yeah, and if I say that, oh, brother, uh, Christian Prince, he, he said this, yeah, if I, if I write in a book, hmm. that doesn't mean that you are writing uh, writing the book or you are speaking. Doesn't matter, but what I say because, is, uh, when is you say, I okay, my friend, listen, listen, when you say Christian Prince said this, shouldn't you quote what I said exactly, correct? You cannot change it. If you are honest, you will quote yeah, me word by word. Okay, so Allah is yeah. quoting shaitan word by word. So how you just say to me, this is the same equality. That means shaitan equality in Arabic is the same equality as Allah equality in Arabic. That means shaitan Quran is the same equality as Allah Quran. Okay, first of all, we have to keep in mind that at the time of uh, when uh, shaitan, uh, he replied, in which language did he reply? We don't know. I don't know actually. Uh, so I don't know in which language they, uh, they were speaking uh -huh. uh, at the time of Adam. Uh -huh. okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we know. According to you Muslims, when Adam sneezed, when Allah was creating him, he speak Arabic. He says, Alhamdulillah. So don't tell me you do not know. Uh, why? No, why did you get this? Is it mentioned in the Quran? I mentioned all over, you know, yeah, we can show you the, 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 the reference. Is it? Okay, hold on. When you, when you Muslim, you, you speak about things. Everything you have to bring from the Quran, or you can, you have other sources. You as a Muslim, mm. be honest with me. You accept only Quran now. I have not found uh, mm. in the Glorious Quran any verse that okay. uh, Adam, uh, Adam alayhi wasallam, he was speaking Arabic. So I didn't get it from the Quran. So can you show me uh, any verse? Uh, then I can, I can. All right. Let us go a little bit. Uh, check it. So. No problem. As an example here. Yeah. Because I know a boss of the Quran. Uh, my, my friend, my friend, my friend. I mean, I think you focus on what you are doing. Is that Arabic? Are you speaking Arabic now? No. So why you, why you, are, why you are quoting something to me in a funny Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Is that trying to me that you know Arabic, but you don't? So why, what the point of saying those things? In a language you don't understand, and it's coming in a very no, funny way. So listen, in chapter 17, verse number 11, cha chapter 17, verse number 11, it says, and I want you to read with me in the screen. Chapter 17, verse number? 11. And the human was ever hasty. Ibn Abbas mentioned, the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from the head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed and he said, Alhamdulillah. Do you see it? 
And Allah answered him in Arabic. Yeah, he said, uh, maybe he's my dear brother. Alhamdulillah, just miss praise be to Allah. So in Arabic, he said in Arabic language, why, why is it mentioned in the Quran? That he, he said in Arabic language. For example, uh, if I say in, in my own language, my language is Bangla. Bangla is my mother tongue. So when I say, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, in my Bengali language, that, that means I'm uh, translating in Arabic, Alhamdulillah. So, uh, did he say that uh, he spoke in Arabic? No, uh, I, I don't So, when you say Alhamdulillah, say okay, is Alhamdulillah, it is Arabic or it is Urdu? Uh, Alhamdulillah is the translation, uh, all praise and glory is due to Allah. If I say in English... No, 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 he said, no, no, you see, he did not translate, he said, he said Alhamdulillah, he did not translate. He said, Alhamdulillah. Otherwise, he will say something else. He will say, uh, like, Kayas, Alif Lam Mim. He will say, Shalom. He, he said, Alhamdulillah. Is Alhamdulillah an Arabic word? Okay. Uh, Ibn Abbas, he wrote, uh, maybe he wrote the Tafsi, uh, or he spoke in, uh, his mother tongue was in Arabic, right? So that is why, if Adam Alayhi Wasallam, he spoke English, for example. Hmm. Uh, if he said that all praise and glory is due to Allah, and I am, I am. Uh, if I if I speak in Arabic, then I shall say, oh, Adam like Adam. He said Alhamdulillah. So this is the translation. This is not the exact word in that language. So I don't agree with that. This is a translation. Yeah. Hmm. Of course. Okay. Let me ask you. The Shahada written in the chair of Allah is written in which language? Shahada, are you, are you quoting hadith or? I'm asking you the question, answer me please. The Shahada, which is written on the chair of Allah, in the throne of Allah, is written in which language? Shahada was written, it is not, it is not mentioned in the Quran, in any part. Uh, this Shahada is not the question, you, you this is not the question, my friend. I mean, why you, why must they have to play all kinds of games to avoid the answer? I'm asking you, according to your knowledge, the Shahada, which you Muslims say, to become a Muslim, Written on the chair of Allah in which language? I don't know, actually. Hmm. <laughs> as I know, it's in Arabic. Okay, as I know, it's Arabic because when Allah, when Adam, he commits sin, he, you know, he asked, uh, 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 he asked Allah for forgiveness, and then Allah, he said to him, uh, let me show you the hadith in English. As long as you do not know anything about Arabic, give me a second. Yeah, I, I know you are quoting the hadith, yeah, I know. Oh, so you know the hadith. You are the hadith. Here we go, so you know the hadith. Yeah, so why sure. now you are denying that you do not know? A second ago you say, I do not know. Now you agree that you know the hadith. And what the hadith is saying, that it's written in Arabic. It's written exactly as we are saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, correct? When the Muhammad and the false prophet. No, so, no, 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 it's a translation, maybe. Hmm. So, so how are you sure that it was written in Arabic? Does the hadith say that it yes, was written it in says, Arabic? Yes, it says, no, it says, the word is in Arabic, there's no prophet but Allah, shahada, the shahada, you Muslims, even when you, if you're Indonesian, you have to say it in Arabic. Even if you are an Israeli, you have to say it in Arabic. Even if it's, it's a, it, this is the shahada. And they did not mention, in no way of saying, that when Adam, he saw what he was reading different words, and this is the meaning of it, it says exactly what he said, the shahada. My dear brother, uh, let, let me let me say one thing, just one thing. Uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at the time of Moses, or Musa, there was Shahada, right? Because uh, all the prophets, they said, la ilaha illa. This, this, uh, this is our beliefs. And we believe that all the prophets, first of all, they said, la ilaha illa. Uh, they, they didn't say in Arabic. No, 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 not at all. And the Quran, says, for example, for example, uh, it is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 14, Surah Ibrahim, <coughs> verse number 4. That Omar or Salna mir Rasulin illa bilisani qawbhi. Yeah, so uh, we didn't send uh, any messenger except speaking in the language of his own people, of his own nation. Okay. So every messenger was sent uh, in the language of his own hmm. and? nation, people. And? So uh, I'm going to say all the prophets, they said la in Arabic. Okay, I want you to read this with me in the screen. You see, you jump to say, I do not know, because simply you are trying to avoid the embarrassment. Even when you're Muslim, you translate, you don't even translate the word. You say, If not you, I created nothing. Let us read the hadith. Question, and this is sunnah.org. 
what is the respect of ulama of the religion of sharia about this hadith lawlaka ma khalaqta al aflak is that a correct hadith is that so the question is very clear the answer indeed the prophet of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the reason for the creation of adam alayhi salam and the universe if 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 muhammad if the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was not to exist then arsh the chair of allah the 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 board of allah the tablet of allah the pen of allah the sky the earth the heaven the hell the trees the stones and all other creatures will not exist muhammad is allah obviously of course allah is exists just to serve muhammad and then if we go here you will see it says when adam and you see the reference for the hadith in front of you what allah said when adam made a mistake he asked oh allah I asked you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said, Oh Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him? Adam said, Oh Allah, when you created me and be, uh, blow into my uh, into me my the spirit, I lifted my head and I saw written Al Al Arsh, even the word Arsh isn't you know, La ilaha illallah Muhammad <laughs> So you are trying to fabricate an answer to fit with the with the propaganda, denying that this is what he said, my friend. So are you saying to me, are you are you Muslim saying to me that Adam he said something different and you Muslim are just translating? My dear brother, this question I asked the two imam, many imams in my country, mm. in my villages, in my, in my mm. district, and all of them they say this is a weak habit. We don't we don't accept it. Uh -huh. And I, I okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here that the sheikhs are answering by weak hadith. The sheikh is but answering. This is, this, is the, the, this is weak. This is not. Oh, guys, anything, anything we show them is weak. Anything doesn't matter. It's weak. That, that's it. It's weak. Now let me let me make it more clear. As long you see, I show you reference from your book saying clearly that they, they use Arabic. Can you show me from your book reference that they did not use Arabic in the time of Adam? No, you are quoting a hadith. Actually, this is this is a weak hadith. I know. And, okay, uh, hold on, I, hold on, hold hold on, hold on, hold on. This, first of all, first of all, it's okay to lie. No problem. You don't even know the hadith. Okay. Just to show everybody that you do not know what I'm talking about. This hadith is located where? As long as you know it's weak. Located where? What the book name? No, I cannot remember. I, I so, guys, he do not know even he do not even know he do not even know where this hadith is located. But he's sure it's weak. No, I, I studied it. Yeah, I. I no, you don't study it because if you study it, at least you will know which book. Okay, study it in which book? You study it in which book? No, I cannot remember now, actually. You cannot remember now, tomorrow, then uh, no problem, you see. So you are not giving me any proof that this is not what happened, but yet I am giving you proof and you are fabricating answers saying this is weak. When your sheikh saying for sure, indeed, they're agreeing, and right away they start quoting this, and it says here in the front of us, authentic, it's sahih authentic. Um, hold on, hold on, it's sahih authentic. Okay, uh, let, let, let me tell you one thing, just one, mm. one thing. So, uh, this, this is my question, actually. Uh, mm. My question is that at the time of Moses, when Muslims, all the Muslims believe, the, the Shahada was not the La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. No, it was not the Shahada. The Shahada was uh, La ilaha illallah Musa Rasulullah. Yeah, uh -huh. the Shahada. Mm -hmm. And this was not in, uh, in Arabic language. Okay. So if uh, it would be written in the Okay, so 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 uh, uh, whoever said that Muhammad's name is written in the throne of Allah is a liar, right? Uh, this is not mentioned in the Quran. You have to show me from the Quran. I am not expert in hadith. You have to show me from the Quran uh, because the uh, the uh, and I think that uh, if you discuss uh, uh, regarding to the Quran only, it will be better for me. Actually, I am not expert in hadith. Actually, mm, you are expert with the Quran. Yeah. Okay, but I show uh, you the Quran. So, uh, okay, I showed you the Quran. I showed you the Quran. And you are the one who came to me says that Allah is translating 
what shaitan he said to him. Do you have a proof of that? Not translating. He is translating or not? I don't know. In which language he so, spoke, I don't so know. That, so then, no, he, okay, he I said, he said, my friend, I see, I, you know, I, always you play games when you call me. He said, shaitan, he said this. Didn't he say anywhere, Allah, to you? That shaitan was not saying that word by word in Arabic. If there's anywhere it says he did not, or you are fabricating your own answer to get away from it. No, uh, sh uh, shaitan replied. Shaitan replied uh, in the language. I don't know which language. So how you know it's not Arabic? So why you said to me? How, how you, no, no. You see, you see. This is what I don't like. You know, I, I appreciate honesty. If somebody want to talk to me, I'm trying to speak to you nicely. Stay calm, not to be angry, because lies make me angry. So why you said to me, Allah is translating? No, I don't, I don't know. Is it translating? So why you said to me? So why you said to me, Allah here is translating what Quran, what Adam said, what Shaitan said? You said that. Why you said that to me? I did not say it is. It may be. May. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, May. <laughs> My friend, we are talking about God. You don't say to me, may, either you have a proof or don't fabricate an answer. Either you speak with knowledge or don't speak with ignorance. Actually, because you are asking, okay, let, let me share one verse, yeah? Let hmm. me share one verse. Hmm. What is mentioned in the Quran? <clears throat> the Quran says, chapter 30, you know, verse number 22, that, وَاخْتِلَافِ uh, alsinatikum وَالْوَانِكُمْ In the diversity of your languages and your colors are the sign hmm. of God, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Really? So uh, in the diversity of languages, so all the languages hmm. he has given us. Hmm. So if it would be Arabic, then he would give us only Arabic. Yeah, hmm. but, but uh, he has given us uh, in the, uh, the diversity of languages because all the languages. You see, you're trying to avoid, the, the, we, all of us, we knew the, that there is languages. Muhammad, he knew there is many languages. This is not the question. You are, you are fabricating now a topic far away from our topic. The question is, when the Quran quotes shaitan, is he quoting what shaitan said word by word as it is, or he is fabricating? Because if you say to me that the Quran is translating shaitan words, you have to give me a reference saying that shaitan, he spoke in the language other than the language we are using in the Quran. Do you have any reference? No. Secondly, we showed you that shaitan in the time of Adam, Adam and shaitan exist in the same time. We're talking about the same story. When Allah created Adam, Allah said to shaitan, bow down to Adam. Actually, he did not say that to him, he said to angels, which is funny. And then when he did not bow down, he said to him, why you did not bow down? He said, you created me from fire, you created him from mud. So it's happening in the same time. So what the language will be speaking? Let me ask you to make it simple. What is the language of people in heaven? I don't know. Actually, I said I don't know the language. What? What? what, uh, do you, what, 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 what hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't know? No, I don't, uh, because I, 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 I don't know which language was he, uh, he replying. He was replying. But what I know. So no, 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 no. I'm asking you. Are you saying there is no reference saying that the language of Arabic is the language of people of heaven? Excuse me. Uh, Are you saying? that the language of heaven, you never heard, that the language of people of heaven is Arabic? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, what if we prove that? Is that going to yeah, prove? To prove from the... Because remember, Adam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because remember my friend, Adam, Adam himself was in heaven, correct? Yeah. Okay. Shaitan himself was in heaven, correct? Jannah. In Jannah, yeah. Okay, so so if we can show you that Muhammad, he said that the language of people of heaven is Arabic, then this is the language they spoke yeah. from the beginning. What do you think? Is that okay? Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, so if it is mentioned <laughs> that, uh, that uh, the language of Adam in Jannah was Arabic, uh, uh, in, uh, in authentic hadith. So, okay, that's okay. But uh, I don't know, actually, hadith. Okay, you know, you know so uh, when Muslims then they give an answer, 
and uh, and when the Muslim even they give a hadith, let's say a hadith is not as, uh, authentic. Why you Muslims even they have the hadith if it's garbage? Why you Muslim you you confuse others and you confuse yourself between what is false and what it is not is it true? So why you have books full of garbage and one day we show you the garbage, you say this is garbage, and those hadith and, and hold on hold on. Uh, and, and those hadith and those hadith when they when they are created are they created by liars and why the muslim they carry them on and why the muslim did not reject them from the first day and why the muslim did not why the muslim if it's something rejected why it's it's printed why it's published why it's it, it's reserved why it's there so you what this is what you muslims do the second we mention something for you it's embarrassing you say it is rejected Correct? If I ask you right now, do you accept Sahih al-Bukhari? Is that the I cannot give the answer to this question because I'm expert in Quran, I'm not expert in Bukhari. Doesn't matter, so doesn't matter, doesn't matter. What is the most authentic book for you after the Quran? Give me a name. This is Bukhari. Okay, so if I show you now something from al-Bukhari, are you going to accept it? I'm not expert. I, I have to. I have to. So that's okay. That's, 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 so, so, so to make it clear, to, to make to make it clear, to make it clear, it is moody. When we want Al Bukhari is not good. When we want, he is the most authentic. When if I quote for you out of Al Bukhari, you say no. Show me from Al Bukhari. If I show you from Al Bukhari, you say oh, it's, I'm not going to accept Al Bukhari now. So. You have to show me from the Quran. Well, the Quran says, the Quran says, Allah, He said, Shaitan said, and it is in Arabic. He did not say anything else. He did not use different language. So you have to prove. When somebody comes with something, you have to prove it. I show it to you in Arabic. Allah said that Shaitan, He said. Can you show me anywhere in Islamic religion? Single hadith. Saying that Shaitan did not speak Arabic when Allah he spoke to him, can you show me that or not? No, I cannot. Okay, but I was able to show you, so you cannot deny what is in your books against nothing from your side. The Quran says Shaitan said that, otherwise if you are saying that Shaitan he did not say and Allah was translating, then Allah had to say, well I was translating, I'm translating to you what he said in that language, he did not say that, he is quoting word by word, not a translation. And actually, so, uh, what you just said, what you just said is extremely, hold on, what you just said is extremely dangerous, let me tell you why. Because if Allah is translating what Shaitan is saying, that means Allah is fabricating the end of the words to fit with the Quran as stone. Which means Allah is, is, is bending the statement of shaitan. Like did shaitan, he end the word exactly as Allah, he end them? What do you think? I say fat, you say rat. I say cat, you say chat. I say, uh, 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 you know, like, is, is this what would happen? Or Allah now is adding letters, bending the words to fit with the music. What do you think? Yeah, this is a good point, but uh, but uh, I don't know what was the language. So that is why I said I don't know. Okay, so uh, what was the so language. so don't so don't, my so, friend. Uh, as long as you don't uh, know, then next time uh, don't say uh, next time the next time don't say to me something you do not know. Say I do not know and finish it. So what we know now, obviously, that this is cannot be the book of God because Shaitan is making words equal to God. Now we go back to zero. What do you mean, my dear brother? Uh, okay, one second, just one second. Uh, when we say uh, when you say that equal to God, so uh, what is uh, because uh, what I said is this: Quran is not what uh, what Shatan replied the Quran is mentioning what Abraham said for example let me give an example uh, the Quran is mentioning what Abraham said uh, to his father the yeah, Quran is mentioning what once the prophet once said to his father so it uh, to his nation so it doesn't mean that uh, prophet Abraham he, he spoke Arabic language no it, it doesn't mean by this is not the question this is not the question you see this is not this, this you are not listening you are not listening you are not listening you are not listening my friend you, even you yourself you say you quote for me a verse from the Quran saying that Allah never sent the messenger except in the tongue of the people, correct? Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. And this is the question. What was the tongue of Adam? I don't know. It uh, so, don't, the so don't say then uh, it's, it wasn't Arabic. Because we have reference saying that Adam, he says, Alhamdulillah. Nowhere it says this is a translation. We have reference says that Adam, he saw the Shahada in Arabic. Don't say this is a translation. Because if you say it's a translation, you have to give me the language which Adam, he spoke. Now listen, 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 listen. Now, as long you are the one, as long you are the one who mentioned this verse, which is a big problem for you now, you're in trouble. Chapter 14, verse 4. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيْنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضُلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Okay. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ We never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his own people. Do you agree with that? Yeah, of course. I okay. How you from you are from from where from what country, my friend? I'm from Bangladesh. Yeah. Wonderful, Bangladesh. So you are from Bangladesh. How Muhammad became a messenger to you when the Quran says we never send any messenger except in the language of his own people? So we have two conditions. Condition number one, he have to be speaking your language. Condition number two, he have to be from your people. Is Muhammad from Bangladesh? He speak a Bengal language. Is he, or he's not? Of course, uh, he is not. Of course not. Okay. So, uh, the question is, hmm. if he, if he spoke in Arabic language, how can he be my prophet? So because I'm I'm from Bangladesh. Okay, that's a good point. But the answer is mentioned in the Quran, chapter thirty-four, verse number twenty-eight. Uh, it is mentioned. Okay, let me check once again. What chapter are you say? Uh, chapter thirty. Uh, chapter 34, Surah Saba, uh, verse number 28. Chapter 34? Uh, chapter 34. Chapter 34. Yeah. 30, Saba, 34, okay, 28. 34, okay. Chap verse what? 28. 28, okay, go ahead. Uh, Wama or Salnaka, we have not sent you, uh, hmm. Muhammad Sassanam, illa kafatal linnas, hmm. except uh, to all people or to hmm. all mankind, yeah. Okay. Bashiro one zero. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. You see, in the front of me, I see translation. It says universal. Does it say universal? It says kafatan linas, kafatan linas. Doesn't say all mankind. Where is the word mankind? Where is the word universal? Where it says the word universal? Okay. All the people. Okay. Let us let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Okay. Hold on. Let us see how silly the conversation we have, me and you. Sadly, you just agreed that the Quran said, "I never send a messenger. Never, ever. Focus with me. Never, ever. I send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people." And then you say to me, this verse saying that Muhammad was sent for all mankind. I mean, who is the stupid here? If he is going, he, he said, I never. Okay, my, my, my friend, listen, listen. Let, let, me, let me finish my, my, my you know, uh, to, to explain. I never, ever, ever send a messenger. He confirmed that never happened. Never happened, never will happen. And the verse is mentioned in the time of Muhammad, not after Muhammad. So Muhammad is included. We never send a messenger except in the language of the people and his people, which means he have to be from them. Not only he speak the language, he have to be from the people. And then you say to me, this verse Muhammad saying that he was sent to all mankind. That would be stupid because this is a clear contradiction. Go ahead. Okay. So, so, so the question is that uh, he spoke in Arabic language and his language was Arabic. So uh, he, in, in this verse, uh, verse, it is mentioned that he, he has, been, has been sent. Uh, uh, to all mankind or to all people. Kappa, kappa. Can you show me the word all mankind? No, it says for all the people. All the people where? Where those people live? Yeah, well, the, the, the answer is in the next part. But most of the people don't know. Okay, but, okay, yeah, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. No, the, 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 the verse you mentioned, most of the people do not know. That is a, a silly, a, sorry to say to you, this is stupid. I mean, the guy, he is sent for them and they do not know. He is there already. But look, is it the Quran says that Allah, he sent Muhammad 
to the mother of the village and what is around it? Yeah, mother of the village, woman, hawlaha. Okay, what, and what is around it? And what is, okay, guys, Allah, he sent, Allah, he sent Muhammad to the mother of the villages, and what is around it? What is around it? Yeah, what is around it? The rest of the people. All the world is around. Why? The earth is a flat? Because uh, uh, it is the center, actually. We can, we can see uh -huh. the center. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay. So, Mecca is the center. Mecca is the center of what? No, we can, we can say, I say, we can say, for example, uh, because you know, for example, hmm. uh, the Eastern people, they pray towards the Western people. Uh, Western people, they pray towards the Eastern people, the North. So, uh, so uh, we can say this is spiritual center, yeah? So uh, this is not physical center because the uh, the art is the flat. This is round. So uh, this is not. Uh, we cannot say this is uh, in the center of the art. This is, uh, this will be non physical. Okay. Okay. Uh, right, okay. This is okay. You know what? You know. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, listen, listen. 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 Let, let us make it simple. Allah He never sent the messenger unless He speak the tongue of the people. What is the tongue of the people around Mecca? Yeah, he sent uh, in the language of the tongue of the people, in the language. In the time. The question is so language. All the, no, 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 not, not the time, don't lie. This has nothing to do with time. We never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. It doesn't matter what time, in the past, in the future, and now. We never send. And why he send it in Arabic? Why he send it in Arabic, my friend? Why Allah he send the Quran in Arabic? Okay, let, let me make, make my understand. Mm. Uh, I want to understand myself. Mm. So, uh, in the tongue of the people means in the language of the people, right? Mm. What? In the tongue what? Yeah, okay. So, uh, we put... Say again, what? Okay. And, yeah, in the language of the people. Okay, let, uh, let, let's, mm. let's check another, another verse also. For example, chapter 25, yeah, verse number one. Mm. Uh, one second. Chapter 25, verse number 1, it is mentioned that Tabaraka Ladina Zalal for Kona Allah Abdi Hilia Kuna Lil Alamina Nadiro. Blessed is he who sent down the criterion. This is the Quran. Allah Abdi upon his servant that he may be a warner to Alamin. Alamin means to all nations. No, that's yeah? false. No, no Alamin, the, 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 the Muslim believe there's two, uh, there's two kinds of creatures. There's genie. And there's a human, correct? Yeah. Okay. You Muslims, you Muslims, you Muslims, because of your prophet, hold on. You, you Muslims, because your prophet, he said to you that he was able to convert genie into Islam, correct? Yeah, uh, please, uh, I could not hear. Can you, can you repeat? You Muslims believe that your prophet was able to convert the genie to Islam, genie. Yeah, yeah, there is a, there is a creature, a gene, a spiritual uh, creature. No, a, a genie are not spiritual a, a creature. Where will you get this from? Is it a shaitan? No, is a genie? Gene? Is it shaitan? Is, is a genie? No, so how do you make him a spiritual creature? Huh? No, one second, one second. How do you mean shaitan? Shaitan, the word shaitan has been used for referring to uh, among mankind and among genes. So shaitan does not mean uh, only among the genes. So Satan just means who who has gone astray or far away from. No 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 don't don't so this, you are mixing mixing things upside down, my friend. Isn't it the Quran make a definition that Shaitan is one of the genie? Yeah, Satan was uh, he was iblis. He was among the jinn. Yeah, okay, so he is one of the jinn, correct? He is one of them. One of the jinn, yeah. Okay, so they have the same nature, right? Yeah, let, let me share the verse. Chapter 18, verse number 15. Which this is one, one second, let me check. Hmm. Chapter 18, verse number uh, 50, one second. Hmm. Yeah, chapter 18, verse number 50. It hmm. is mentioned that why the Qulna lil malaikat is juduli adama fasadudil la iblis kana min al jinn. That okay. means mentioned when we say uh, to the angels, hmm. prostrate uh, Adam or Adam, and 
there prospered except Iblis. Hmm. And he was uh, of the jinn. So he was among the jinn, yeah. Okay. So, so, so he's not a, a spiritual creature because this is funny because it says, and we showed you from the first verse that Shaitan, he said to Allah, why I will bow down to Adam if you created me from fire and you created him from mud? So how you made him a spiritual uh, uh, creature? That's very funny. Secondly, let us go back to the topic. Hold on. Let's listen. You, you are taking me away from the topic now. Listen, listen, listen. So Shaitan is one from the jinn. We agree both both of us. Now, Shaitan is one of the jinn. Was Muhammad able to convert Shaitan into Islam? No, he was able to convert a jinn uh, into Islam, not, not Satan. Satan. Satan just means who has gone astray. Okay, you know how to read Satan Arabic. You know how to read Arabic, correct? Yeah, I can. I can read the Quran. I can read the Quran. Yeah. Yeah, you I can, can read. read you can make. You can make out the, reading the, the the Arabic, right? Okay. So, uh, let us see what the Hadith says. This is the Hadith in the front of your eyes. I want you to read it for me. I want you to practice little of your Arabic because you know how to read letters. Oh, I can help you. Here it says, Aisha, she said, Iltamastu uh, Rasulullah uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa'adkhaltu yadi fi sha'rihi. Faqal, qad ja'aki shaytanuki. Faqalat, ama laka shaytanun? Faqal, bala, walakinna allaha a'anani alayhi fa'aslam. The whole world here is what is shaitan. Do you see the word genie there? There's no genie. Okay. What happened to shaitan at the end? He says, Allah helped me against shaitan and he became a Muslim. Correct? Hmm. Yeah, one of the, uh, my dear brother, Satan, Satan is uh, uh, among the jinn who has gone astray and he has become, for example, among the human beings also, there are some uh, good people, bad people, and uh, for example, one bad people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So there is a good shaitan and bad shaitan now, there's a good shaitan and bad shaitan. He did not say, we're not talking about jinn now. We are talking, he mentioned clearly, he said, shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. I asked you, is the word genie there mentioned? You said no. It says shaitan. So is there a good shaitan in Islam and bad shaitan too? My dear brother, shaitan is not pro, uh, shaitan just means who has gone as far. And this may be among the jinn, this may be among the, among the human beings. My friend, the question is very simple. This is not just... Your prophet, he mentioned the word shaitan. Is there a good shaitan and bad shaitan in Islam? No, there are, there are good jinn. And is, so, this is, so don't go there then, don't go there, we are not talking about the genie now. We knew that shaitan is one of the genie, but now he's a shaitan, already he's a shaitan. He is not, he is one of the genie, yes, as a kind, but he's a shaitan. And, he, and your prophet caught him as a shaitan. So is how Muhammad was able to make shaitan to become a Muslim? My dear brother, he, he was not Satan, he was Iblis. Yeah, so, we, can, we can say Iblis. Hold on, so, he was what? He, he was, was what? He, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. You see, when you talk to me, I like to put stop so we can understand. You said he was not Shaitan, he was Iblis. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, uh, let me clarify one second. Hmm. So uh, he was uh, among the jinn. Hmm. He was, uh, his name was Iblis, and hmm. he, did not, uh, he did not follow the commandment of God. Hmm. That is why he was called Satan. Satan just means who have gone astray from the path of God. Hmm. And what about, so, so, so who, is was, the, who is those shaitan? Satan okay, those, those satans, my, dear brother, those sat my friend, the Quran mentioned too that there is shayateen, not only one shaitan, correct? Yeah, okay. Shayate, shayate, shayate so if there's only, if there's only, if there's okay. So if there's only one iblis, who are they, the shayateen? No, who said if they? First of all, I I said the shaitan or shaitan is not a name or is not a title. It just means who has gone astray from the path of the path of God. So there are so many shayateen. I lost you. Okay, so you are saying to me that those shaitans are being deceived genie, correct? Yeah, they are, they are, they are bad, bad, bad human beings, they are from uh, bad genie, yeah. Okay, as I know, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that the Quran says that shaitan, he have children, 
and he had sex. Oh, uh, can you show me, please? All right, we will go to the shaitan. It says, Are you going to take him and her, his, ch his children as your leaders, as your worshippers? Here we go. So are you saying that this is not a true, that shaitan, he don't have kids, and Allah is lying? My dear brother, shaitan, shaitan is not a name. It just, it is an Arabic word. My it's friend, my friend here, Allah, your God, call him Iblis. You told me his name is Iblis, correct? Yeah, his, his name was Iblis. Okay, Iblis. so now we are talking uh, specifically about Iblis, which is very funny to find in the Quran, because you, we were talking about languages. How Allah, he used the word Iblis if Quran is Arabic book? I mean, how the first devil, his name is Iblis, go and see where the word Iblis is coming from, and you will die laughing. So now, let us focus here. That shaitan, which is Iblis here, the Muslim translated in English as, as shaitan, but in, Arab, in Arabic it says Iblis. He was one of the jinn. Are you going to take him and his children and his offspring as lords instead of me? Did Allah lie when he says yeah, his offspring? Give me, please give me the verse, yeah? It's in front of you, chapter 18, verse number 50. Uh, one second, please. Yeah, so it's a separate in verse number 50. Okay, so uh, it's so, not so, uh, so shaitan he have kids, correct? Okay, okay, let me clarify one second. Why the Quran so it's illa iblis. So when we said and just uh, prospect uh, to Adam, just said uh, accept iblis. So iblis here is the name of the jinn uh, of that jinn. Okay, hmm. so uh, but uh, Kanamin al Jin, he was among the Jin, hmm. and his name was Iblis. Hmm. But he became Satan, hmm. means he he has he had gone astray from the path of God. Hmm. Satan is not a name, it's not a title. It just means someone who has gone astray from the path of God. Hmm. So if I go astray from the path of God in Arabic, I will say I am Satan. Oh, okay. I am Shaitan. This is, I, this is not I, the I, question, I, my friend. I, you are wasting my time. You are wasting my time. Like you are like a taxi driver. You know, you tell him where to go, and he asks you how you're doing, where you've been. Are you, are you in a rush? Do you have time? My friend, I'm asking you, is it true that the Quran said that this Iblis, this, this person, Shaitan, Iblis, whatever you want to give him definition, that he is the one and his kids after him is what you will follow? Yes or no? Uh, uh, Shaitan is not one one person. Or this one is not the question. Person. This is not the question. Why you see you are make, don't make me lose my voice. And, and, and people they say Christian friends, you have to be patient. I mean, how I can be patient? I am I am so patient with you, honest to God. I mean, you need a special patience to deal with Muslims. My friend, the question is very simple. The verse in the front of us saying it clearly that you are going to follow a specific person. His name is Iblis. And his childrens, not others, genie, his childrens. Does it say that in the verse or not? Yeah, uh, his, his, uh, exactly. So when Muhammad he said that Shaitan he became a Muslim, he's talking about one of the kids of Iblis. Yeah, uh, the, uh, it may be that uh, there, there are so many descendants of, of Iblis, but uh, it doesn't mean that Iblis is the only Shatan, because there are so many. This is not the question. This is not the question. So now we have the children of Iblis, who the Quran says they are evil. How Muhammad, he converted Shaitan to Islam. And here I need to ask you too, as long as we are mentioning this funny story, how Shaitan he have kids? Uh, descendants, uh, it may be uh, understood that uh, it, it means that those who followed him, uh, so, yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I, you make me dizzy now. I have a cross eyes because of your answer. I'm asking you now, how shaitan have kids? How he, he have kids? How he, you know, I, in order to have kids, I have to go and get married. All right? So, shaitan, he have kids. What happened? How he got his kids from? Where he got them from? Uh, 
Yeah, my dear brother, uh, uh, we have to we have to make clarify that Zuriyata ho. Hmm. So if if we understand in this way that this means uh, the kids and children, that means he has uh, he he has wife and uh, he he has uh, children. So hmm. uh, I don't know how uh, the Tafsir writer they understood it. Okay, let us let let me help you. Are you saying you never heard that Shaitan he had sex and he lay eggs? No, I, uh, I'm not sure that he, he had uh, wives and he had something like that. No, I did not say he have wives. I said he have sex and he lay eggs. I did not say the word wife. Did I say the yeah. word wife? Okay. How he lay eggs, do you agree with that? Uh, are, are, are you quoting from the Quran or? I'm quoting from Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm no, asking yeah. you, have you ever heard this before or not? No, I have not heard. Uh, okay. This, this well, you're a prophet. He said that Shaitan, before you enter the market, don't be the first one to enter the market because Shaitan hid the eggs in it. Is that correct? I don't know actually. Well, this is Sahih Muslim. The prophet says. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't, if you can help, be the first to enter the market and the last who leave it because it is an era, a, arena of shaitan, the uh, standard of shaitan said there. Look, look, look at the first translation, guys, look at the translation. What standard shaitan? I mean, they cannot, you cannot believe it, how much they try to lie in the translation. It says in Arabic, how in the world became a standard? Is that the standard narrative have holes? Let us take, let us see, try to find the hadith in, in the original, in the in the book of Sahih Muslim. I mean, it's amazing how they try to cover in the translation what is there. Let us see. And this is Sahih Muslim, remember. Uh -huh. Let us see. We are trying to find the original hadith. <laughs> Shaitan, he lay eggs. All right. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I, want, I want to understand myself one, one, thing, one issue because uh, in the Quran, the word Shaitan, yeah. word Shaitan has mm. been used for, for mankind also, right? Yeah, you also know. Uh, for 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 uh, referring to mankind also, uh, for example, it is mentioned. In the yeah, 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 no, but, 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 but this is not what we are talking about. Here we are talking about literally the offspring of Shaitan. Correct? We are talking yeah, about the offspring I'm of Shaitan. You, yeah? Okay. I'm asking so, you. This is so, so here the translation, the translation. I cannot find the original one. The translation is that Shaitan he lay eggs. Is it true that Shaitan he lay eggs? Yeah, I don't know actually. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. Uh, we can go and see. I mean, if you as a Muslim, if you want to understand a, a verse in the Quran like this, where do you go? Where do you go? Uh, first of all, Quran has explained itself. Ah, uh, here so we go. I'm asking you to explain it. You, you have no idea. It says his offspring. It doesn't say anything else. Explain it for me. So if the Quran explains itself, so why you Muslim you have all those books of tafsir? You are trying to fool who, my friend? If the Quran explains itself, why we have tafsir? Why we have uh, a, a, a thousand of books to explain a verse? If we do not need them. Yeah. No, I, I say that Quran has explained itself, and Quran has been explained by uh, by, uh, by Sunnah, by Hadith. Uh -huh. Quran has been explained by uh, by the scholar. But, uh, but uh, we have to keep in mind that Quran is the criteria. This is what I, what. I okay, let us see. Uh, let us see. Okay, let, let me ask you. When the Muslim scholar, when the Muslim scholar explain the Quran, they fabricate uh, explanation or they are being truthful. Uh, there, there are different opinions and uh, perspective uh, for understanding the well, Quran. All opinion, uh, all opinion agree. All opinion uh, agree. Hold on. This is Al Qurtubi in the front of me. It says that Shaitan, Iblis, he used to have a penis in the right side of his thigh 
and he had a vagina in the left side of his thigh. And when he want to have sex with himself, he just shake his legs and he enter this into that by doing nikah. فهو ينكح هذا بهذا فيخرج له كل يوم عشر بيضات ويخرج من كل بيضة سبعون شيطانا وشيطانا. So if you want to if himself, excuse my language, this is what the word is nikah. And this is the proof that Muslim, they lie to us when they say nikah means marriage. Here we go, shaitan marrying himself. No. Yankahu hada bihada. So he, if this by that, he intercourse. That's what nikah means. Yankahu hada bihada. So every day he will lay down 10 eggs. And from every egg will come 70 male and female shaitana. We can click and translate in Google. So everybody can see that we are not making things up. Here we go. So, hold on, so, hold on. Uh, which, which tafsir is this? Al Qurtubi. So here, here, here is the verse. You will take him and his offspring as guardians or, or Lord. This is Google translation, as you see. So it says here. I learned that uh, uh, I can all. Uh, the translation is uh, is funny. He said the devil inserted in his vagina into his private part. This is the word penis. So he lay five eggs, and this is the origin of his offspring. And it was said, God Almighty created for him a male in his right thigh and a vagina in the left. So he merged this into this. He did this word nukah. He f this with that. And he produced eggs for him every day. Ten eggs, actually. And from, from every egg, 70 devil, male and female, they come out. So the Quran, when the Quran say, Shaitan, he have offspring. Okay, let me, let me Okay, let me ask you a question. So, is there any hadith regarding to this kind of statement or any? any my friend, hadith? my friend, look, look how funny, how funny, hadith? how funny are you? You are saying to me, if there is any hadith, well, you must have quoting this from where? You, 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 when you're a scholar, his his books is exist there, and you teach, you teach those are your top scholars, and nobody, nobody, you see, if we make a cartoon about against Muhammad, you must have go crazy. If somebody insult the Prophet, you want to kill him. Those people, they are praised as the best of you. Their books is published in, this is the website of Saudi Arabia, official government website. Nobody complain. Why? Because they believe in it. So how come suddenly you are saying to me, where this is coming from? Yeah, this is one kind of opinion of him. Uh, because uh, other, other, other Tafsir writers, they didn't mention this kind of uh, statement, yeah? So, uh, so for example, Ibn Qasir, uh, he didn't okay. mention. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, uh, <coughs> hmm. yeah, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, Mawdudi, Maulana Mawdudi, uh, in his Tafsir al Quran. Hmm. So, he didn't mention. Okay. The Tafsir I study, this is Maulana Mawdudi. Uh, this is the tafsir I study. Okay. So, uh, so my friend. There are, there are... Okay, this is your prophet saying that. What we will do now? Isn't this your prophet saying that shaitan he lay eggs? It's your prophet. He says shaitan lay eggs. So, you, so now we have Sahih Muslim, and we have the Hadith, and we have the interpretation saying it clearly that shaitan he lay eggs. Is Muhammad lying too? Actually, if you if you go in the same page, if, hold on. If you go in the same page, let me see if I still have it open. Here, you will see here it says. Let us go down. Uh, the messenger of God, may Allah bless him, grant him peace. Hmm? He said, "Don't." be the first to enter the market nor the last to exit exit it uh where is the part he says he lives hold on hold on hold on because it says there see the translation here is for it's stupid here the translation should say for he the shaitan he lay eggs here the translation can be very funny so he lay eggs Huh? Uh, this is Sahih Muslim. I don't see. I don't see the number here, but you can find the same hadith in Riyadh Salihin, hadith number one eight four two, or you can do go to Al Qurtubi. However, all of them they are giving reference that this is from Sahih Muslim, as you see. Here we go in front of you. It says Sahih Muslim. Uh, 
Actually, I cannot check because the number is not is not uh, mentioned. Okay, let me let yeah. me let me find it for you. Hold so, on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me find this hadith for you, which is from Sahih Muslim. Actually, here it says it's reported by Muslim. Do you see it? It says, "Rawahu Muslim hakada." It says even this is authentic. Look, 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 read with me. Does it say here in front of your eyes, and you claim that you know a little bit of Arabic? It's reported by Sahih Muslim as it is, and in the authentic book. An Salman قال, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, etc. So this is authentic. You Muslims agree that this is very authentic. Shaitan, he lay eggs. And the Quran says that you are going to take his offspring. So what we are talking about now, confirm from the hadith and the explanation that Shaitan have babies and those babies are coming from eggs. And then Muhammad, he made one of the eggs of, of Shaitan, of his spring, convert to Islam. So Shaitan is not a pure evil. Let me let me uh, clarify myself uh, at this point because uh, the, when, when we said the word shaitan, it also refers to uh, human beings also. Yeah. My friend, so my friend, this is not no, this, uh, this not what we are talking about. I, 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 this is not what we are talking about. This is not what you are talking about. This is not what we are talking about. You're a prophet. Make it clear. No, 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 no. There's I can say to somebody you are a shaitan, but he's not. I'm talking about his behavior, his you know how how bad he is, etc. But doesn't mean really he has a shaitan. When we say shaitan and we are spoken about a person, he is not a human. That is a shaitan. That's it. So you are a prophet saying that he converted his shaitan into Islam. He did not convert a human into Islam. And he called him shaitan. And he claimed that shaitan had babies. And all the one will mislead us, they are from the babies of Shaitan. And we show you the verse from the Quran. And we show you the interpretation of the verse. So now, in order to get away from this, you come with your own interpretation. The Quran says offspring of Shaitan. The Muslims explain the offspring. They say Shaitan, he have yes babies. And Shaitan, he lay eggs. In the top of that, your prophet, he claimed that Shaitan, he have sex with Muslim women. Is that correct? Huh? Uh, my dear brother, okay, okay, let me let me share one part. Yeah, first of all, hmm. uh, because this is this is the same topic. Uh, uh, let me clarify. Chapter two, verse number forty. You can see it. Uh, chapter two, verse number forty. When they meet, uh, those who believe, they say we believe. But when they meet along along with the shaitan. Hmm. So this word shaitan is referring to those human beings. So it may be that among the <laughs> okay, shaitan, hold on. Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you do you, do you accept that the interpretation of the verse, or you have the, you have your own verses, your your own interpretation? Any verse you quote for me? Do you uh, do you accept? You do you accept your uh, do you accept your scholars? Do you accept shaitani he, my friend? You see, you don't you, you claim that you have knowledge. Shaitani he, you're a prophet. He claimed that everyone he have a shaitan accompany him, hmm? and this is what Aisha she's talking about, and Muhammad. Aisha she wanna have sex. Hmm? She came to Muhammad. She said to him, she she put her hand in her his hair. Muhammad, he claimed that the behavior of Aisha by putting her hand in his hair, that her shaitan is making her do that. And the reason Muhammad is accusing Aisha of shaitan, making her want to have sex with him, because he cannot have sex. This is why if we go in the Quran, hold on. Okay. Uh, this is why if we go in the Quran, there's a verse that says, okay, hold on, hold on. You see, as long, as long. Uh, as long you you know you said the Quran, as long you said the Quran, explain itself. I will take advantage of you. No, 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 don't change, don't change. Don't change. Listen, you are the one who can explain the Quran, and I want to take advantage of this. Chapter one thirteen, chapter chapter one thirteen, verse number three. Can you explain to me this verse? Chapter uh, chapter one thirteen. 
113, the whole chapter is like a few words. I mean, the uh, very, very funny chapter. You know, it's two words, the whole chapter. I don't know how they make it a chapter, but <laughs> what you can say. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, which verse? Okay, it says here. من شر غاسق غاسق إذا وقب. What غاسق إذا وقب? What is that? What وقب mean? The translation is because this is this is the more, uh, this is critical word actually uh, from the evil of darkness when it 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 uh, settles. Uh, this is the translation. Uh, mm. When it settles, uh, it means that at, at the time of darkness. Uh, so mm. it may be there are uh, some bad things in the nature. So uh, I am seeking uh, uh, refuge in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala from all kinds of uh, evil things. Uh, in the darkness, yeah. What so, does that mean? Uh, this is. Is that is that about shaitan or it's about something else? No, this is, this is not about shaitan. Uh -huh. read, uh, read, uh, read the verse after it. Read the verse after it. From the evil of the uh, blowers or in knots, uh, okay. it means uh, the magician or something like that, the magic mm. influence. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, this is this is uh, about magic influence and uh, about what? About what? About, uh, about what? About what? Listen, you are speaking too fast, my friend. I'm trying to understand you. So, when Shari Rasikin is a up, what this have to do with the witchcraft? What is the connection? What happened? Uh, I, I think. Uh, what happened when night come, and there is a word is called waqab. Later we will go for it, and then he says, and the, from the evil of witchcraft. Okay, uh, let me check the tafsir. Yeah. Okay. What tafsir you want uh, to check? Uh, tafsir al Quran. This is the tafsir I, I studied. Which which tafsir? That is written by who? Tafsir al Quran. Uh, Maulana Maududi. Yeah. Who is this guy Maududi? <laughs> Who is this guy, Mawdudi? He's a scholar. He's a scholar, really? Uh, he's from... Hmm. Yeah, of course, he's a scholar. Hmm, okay. So do you accept a Mawdudi then? Uh, yeah, I study uh, this tafsir, uh, tafsir uh, much more right. than anything else. Okay. So uh, he, he mentioned, uh, just one second, he mentioned that Omishari was second from the evil uh, of night's darkness when it uh, spreads around. It means he, in his commentary, he said, uh, after seeking Allah's refuge, generally I'm reading, yeah, mm. uh, from the evil uh, of the creatures, now prayer is being poured for seeking refuge from the evil of some spe special uh, creatures in, mm. uh, in particular. Mm. Okay? The mm. word gosik in this verse, verse literally means dark. Yeah, thus, uh, at another place and in, in the Quran, it may, it has been said, it is the Salat hmm. uh, from the declining of the sun hmm. uh, to the darkness of the night. Okay, uh, and what, word what the word Waqab mean? Okay. What the word Waqab mean? Yeah, Waqab means to enter or to over a spirit. Wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Guys, to enter, to enter, what is going to enter? What is entering what? To enter to our... Okay, let, let me finish. The, the, then I, I can... I can no, no, no. Finish. One by one. Means, what is going to enter? Enter what? What is going to enter what? Uh, yeah, enter uh, enter uh, uh, something, for example, enter into the house. Yeah, enter into our body. Is it possible? Uh, is, maybe is, it, is it possible body. that this is about penis? Of course not. <laughs> uh -huh. What is the Arabic word for penis? Okay. Do you want to do you want to make a challenge that this is about penis? Do you want to challenge me? Yeah. I, yeah. Of course I challenge. I don't agree. You, you know, no. 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 There's different. You agree or not? Do you do you dare to challenge me? This is not about agree. This is not about about me and you. Do you dare to challenge me to prove to you from your Islamic books that this is about the penis of Muhammad? 
And the penis of Muhammad. And the penis of Muhammad could not. And the penis of Muhammad could not function because when Aisha she came to him, trying to sleep with him, Muhammad in order to get rid of her, he says to her, "Your Satan come to you, Aisha." And then he recites these verses, saying that the rest of the verse, which you know, that when the night come and when the penis stand. Is that correct explanation for the verse, or I'm making things up? Of course not. Of course not. No, of course not. This is, a, uh, this right. is making up uh, by some uh, nonsense. All right. Well, the one this is lying. Okay, let us make an agreement, me and you. The one is lying, he have to agree. That he's lying. You have to admit, correct? Do you agree? Yeah, of course. If, if yeah, I All agree. Right. Okay. I will put it in the screen in a second. Give me a second. Uh, what is the uh, Hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't change topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't, don't, ch don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I don't say things unless it's true. And you should know better. No, you, you should know. You should know yeah, that you are talking to Christian Prince and people they will challenge him. And if he fail to prove what he say, people will laugh, right? So when we say something, we have to prove yeah. it. Okay. Let us see. Yeah, of course. Okay, let me finish. Oh, don't change the topic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. An Ibn Abbas, in the Tafsir of Ibn Abbas, radiyallahu an, wa min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab, qala qiyamu dhakar. Translate for me. Do you know what I'm saying? No, don't finish, don't finish, no, don't finish. So, is it about the penis of your prophet, yes or no? Okay, let me check if there is an answer. Hmm. Ibn uh, Qasim mentioned that from the evil of God, uh, when he woke up, he said, woke up is in the night. Uh, when it woke up, it refers to setting of the sun. What? Okay. Uh, so Ibn Qasim mentioned uh, this from uh, Ibn Nazir, he put a similar uh, hadith, the same was... Uh, My friend, read, read uh, with me in the screen. Read with me in the, so the screen. I'm showing you the reference in the screen. I can show it to you from tons of books, not only one. Not only one. Endless books. Ghasiqun idha waqab is the stand up of the penis excuse my language guys when the penis get excited it says in the front of you i'm going to click in the front of everybody hold on you see guys this is not that i'm not did i say i did i say even the name of the tafsir the one who said that explanation is ibn abbas do you agree with ibn abbas or you don't Okay, let me check. Let me check first of all. Uh, what Ibn Abbas said. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in Tafsir Ibn Qasid, it is not mentioned. So you can understand from um, Tafsir Ibn Qasid. Oh, you want you so, want only from Ibn Kathir. So, hmm? you want only Ibn Kathir. No, I said uh, because first of all you mentioned that this is mentioned in the Tafsir Ibn Kathir. So, so I, I no, I did not I, say I this is from Ibn Kathir. I, I did not say this is from Ibn Kathir. I did not say this. I did not say anything about Waqaf from Ibn Kathir. I'm saying to you, you say what are true true with Muslims? Uh, since we start talking until now, you did not, we did not say even Ibn Kathir. What are you talking about? This verse here, according to Ibn Abbas, according to Ibn Abbas, is it about the penis of Muhammad? Yes or no? Of course not. It is not. So why Ibn Abbas saying that? Okay, let me check. One second. This is variant number two. Variant number two. Page number 28. And this is your Islamic website, Islam Port. Ahya wa ulum al-Din by the Imam al-Ghazali. We will click at the translate into English in the front of everybody's eyes. But uh, the Tafsir, what I have downloaded uh, before, Ibn Abbas, so this kind of statement he didn't mention or he didn't say. 
Uh, I did not say. Yeah. I, you know, you know, you are not listening. Ibn Abbas said. Did I say tafsir Ibn Abbas? As Ibn Abbas said, not everything Ibn Abbas said. The tafsir Ibn Abbas actually is not even a book written by Ibn Abbas. It's a guy who collect what Ibn Abbas say to put it in a book. But he did not mention everything Ibn Abbas said. So you are not listening. I'm asking you. Does it say that, or I'm making things up? Uh. Uh, so, uh, no, no, what, uh, what Ibn Qasim mentioned from Ibn Abbas, he said uh, something else. So, I'm not sure what he said. Hmm, okay. For example, uh, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Abbas, uh, sorry, Ibn Qasim mentioned from, from Ibn Abbas, the Waqab refers to setting up. What? So, so darkness from the, from the evil of darkness means, uh, the, for example, the Tafim uh, al-Quran, Mawdudi mentioned, that from the crimes of the darkness. Because in the dark, listen, listen, uh, listen, 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 listen. Why are we are wasting our time? The question is, am I lying or Ibn Abbas? He said that. What do you think? Am I lying or Ibn Abbas? Or Ibn Abbas? He said that word by word. That this is about the penis of Muhammad. My dear brother, uh, in, in Ibn Qasir, uh, he mentioned from Ibn Abbas, and in my tafsir, what I downloaded Ibn Abbas, uh, this kind of statement uh, is not mentioned. So how can I be sure that he's... Well, I am showing you, I'm showing you, the, I am showing you the reference. I am showing you the reference. How you can be sure? I'm showing the reference. Can you show me reference against my reference? Uh, you show me the reference, but, uh, but uh, Ibn, uh, Ibn Qasir also mentioned what Ibn Abbas said. So uh, this kind of statement is not So fact. what if Ibn uh, Kathir did not mention? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So do you accept Ibn Kathir? Say yes. Do you accept Ibn so, Kathir? Uh, do you accept? No, no, no. Uh, Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Uh, you see, I I'm going to show everybody the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. Ibn Kathir did not say that. So you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir for me is a point of understanding. If Ibn Kathir says so, I will accept. So I'm asking you, do you accept Ibn Kathir? Do you have, uh, regarding this, this verse or? Uh, Doesn't matter. Is Ibn Kathir a guy you depend on to explain the Quran or he is not valid? Is he valid? He's he, he valid. Of course he's valid. But it doesn't mean, it does not mean that uh, uh, everything what he said is absolutely right. So Okay. Yeah. So do we accept? Do we accept if Ibn Kathir says something to be true? Uh, I, I will justify it, uh, with the Quran. If it contradicts the Quran, I will not accept it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So Ibn Kathir is not valid. Because let me ask you here, oh, here. Okay, Ibn Kathir, where Ibn Kathir? Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. I quoted for you Ibn Kathir in the beginning when I said to you that Adam he said as Alhamdulillah. Where in the Quran it says that Adam he said Alhamdulillah and Ibn Kathir is quoting it? Yeah, Ibn Kathir wrote in, uh, uh, in his in Arabic language, so Alhamdulillah. So he, he just. Uh, so I'm asking you, do you accept Ibn Kathir or not? That Alhamdulillah, he's speaking in Arabic language. Ah, in Arabic language, yeah. So do you accept Ibn Kathir or you don't accept Ibn Kathir? <laughs> so if, uh, my dear brother Ibn Kathir, you don't say he said in Arabic language. He mentioned he said Alhamdulillah. So this oh. is what he said. So is he lying or he is telling the truth? My dear brother, he did not say that uh, he said it in Arabic language. He just translated. No, uh, no. It uh, says he said Arabic. he did not translate. No way. Yeah. You are a liar. Sorry to say that for the first time. Because he said, he said, Alhamdulillah. He said, he said, Alhamdulillah. And not only that, we show you the other hadith where Adam, he left up his head to the sky and he saw the name of Muhammad written in the throne. Is the name of Muhammad and the Shahada written in Arabic? You said, I do not know. So you Muslims, when you want to take a hadith, when you want to dump the hadith, when you want to accept a scholar, when you want to dump the star, as an example, as long as we are initially Ibn Kathir, and we don't want to change the topic, but just to show the hypocrisy of, of the Muhammadan people. Listen, no, listen, listen. Oh, listen, according to the Quran, 
Do women have a sperm? Yes or no? Yes, please. Me. According to the Quran, do women have a sperm? Yes or no? <laughs> what? Do women have a sperm? Yes or okay, no? Uh, yeah, okay, you have to give me the box, yeah. Uh, chapter 86, verse number 7. Chapter 85? Chapter 86, verse number 7. You can read verse number 6, 7, 8 as, as you wish. So you don't say we are misquoting. Uh, I shall, I, yeah, I shall go to uh, that verse. Uh, let me sh share one verse and I shall go to that. Hmm. Uh, it is mentioned in the Quran chapter 39, verse number 18. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't want to change. We, we, we'll go back. We will go back. I promise you. Let us focus on the Mikatir just to show you how in a second you will bite your fingers. You will say Mikatir is an idiot. I'm asking you, do you accept the interpretation of Mikatir for this verse? Chapter 86, verse no. number 7. No. No. Why? No, of course not. Why no? Why no? Yeah. Why no? Okay. Why no? Because this is not what the Quran is telling. Yeah, I don't agree. Why? Why? Who are you? A second ago, you said, if Ibn Kathir said it, I will accept it. A second after, if Ibn Kathir he said it, he, I will not accept it. Who are you? Ibn Kathir, uh, okay, one second. Ibn Kathir mentioned this tafsir, okay? So, uh, in Tafim al Quran, what I study, uh, he mentioned in different uh, 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 explanation or commentary. In hmm. another tafsir also, uh, it may be different or, uh, explanation or uh, and commentary. So, uh, which one shall I accept? So uh, that is why I am sharing the verse, chapter 39, it is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 39, verse number 18, mm -hmm. that those who listen the uh, different views and opinions and uh, commentary and mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. and follow the best of it. So okay. what I am telling you, is there is, is, is there is best than your prophet words? Opinions of the, of the scholars and uh, every person. I'm asking you, yeah. so uh, I oh, 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 no, 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 if there is best. Yeah. It is best than your private words. Pardon? If there, is, if there is best, you said you will follow the best of it. So are you saying to me the Quran, Allah, you see how you contradict yourself. You said to me the Quran is a clear explain itself. And now you are saying to me, the Muslim, they will, they will, they will, no, no, no. They, they will follow the best of the interpretation. <laughs> Listen, when you're a prophet say it, when you're a prophet say it, this is your, this is your prophet, this is your prophet saying that the woman, she have a sperm, and this sperm is yellow water she, she, she see in her private part when she have orgasm. Do you agree with your prophet, or your prophet is not valid, the same as Ibn Kathir for you now? Okay, uh, okay, uh, let, uh, let me tell you one thing, just one thing. So, uh, when you said that Quran is clear, I, I, I said... Don't tell me anything, please answer the question, and then we can go there. Do you agree with your prophet, or he is the same as Ibn Kathir, he is fabricating words? He said, the Messenger of Allah said, the man water is white and thick, and this is the sperm of the man, the semen of the man, we understand that. And the women water is a thin and yellow, Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Do you agree with that? I don't know, actually. Uh, this is a hard to do. And, uh, uh, so, uh, I, I, uh, how come a second? What do you mean you do not know? Your prophet said that this is Sahih. Do you accept what your prophet or you, you don't accept what your prophet said? As simple as that. What do you mean you don't know? Regarding, regarding to Hadith. Yeah, regarding the hadith, first of all, most of the hadith are neutral. Do you know what neutral means? Abdul, it says no, sahih. No, no, it says okay, let me, let me, it is sahih. And actually, this is what Ibn Kathir, he caught it. Hold on. Let me show everybody how hypocrite you are. Isn't it Ibn Kathir? Isn't it Ibn Kathir? He based his interpretation based on your prophet words or no? Okay, uh, uh, let, uh, let me tell you first of all. No, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Does it say they are Does it say they are Sahih? Does it say they are Sahih or not? Does it say they are Sahih or not? Does it say Sahih? Yeah, it says it is Sahih. Okay, is that is Sahih mean authentic or it's mean fabricated? No, so he means authentic. It okay, mean, so for example, there are some Sahih hadith. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. There are some Sahih hadith. 
which mm. contradicts the Quran. I don't accept it. So uh, you cannot say that this is Swahili and Swahili not. So, because Quran is the stop, Quran. Stop, Quran. stop, Quran. stop, Quran. stop, Quran. stop. You said it's contradict the Quran. I challenge you to show me what is the contradiction. The Quran, the verse I quote for you, it says that man is sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the sperm of the woman is coming from the breast of the, the women, the breast bones. How this is contradict the Quran? Read it. My, my, my dear brother, the, the word woman is not mentioned in the Quran. So it mentioned, no, it mentioned. Uh, it's it's you, your ignorance, it's your ignorance. Here we go. The word tara'id is a word used for the women bone, which is the necklace bone. You can go and check the dictionary. This is only for women. If I go right now, do you want me to show you that not only Ibn Kathir, all Islamic interpretation, which I know, they say and they agree that a taraib is the location of the necklace of the women bone, where the neck and the chest they meet specifically. So this is a word used for women. And you are saying to me, the word women does not say that because you are ignorant. So it says here that a gushing fluid, hold on, a gushing fluid, a gushing fluid, okay, hold on, gushing fluid coming from where? From between the backbone. What the backbone have to do with sperm? No, it doesn't say from the backbone. It is between. So you have to understand. No, it says backbone. You are a liar again. Here we go. The word backbone here, it says a soul. It says backbone. Yeah, from, uh, mean, okay, okay, let me let me tell you. Mean binding. Mean binding means between. Okay. Uh, well, it is not from the backbone. Between what? Between what? Between what? Between, what? between what? Between one person or two person? Between one person or two person? One person. Of course, one person. Okay. Open a mawdudi for me. Your mawdudi. I read for me the interpretation there. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. I can read. Of course, I can read. Mm, go ahead. Uh, Okay, just one second. Hmm. Uh, but I have four persons' house in my phone, and it is going to work. <laughs> so, what? Just one second. I have uh, four persons' house uh, charged, uh, in my phone, actually, three percent. Oh, okay, so, no problem. You can call me uh, whatever you want. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I shall charge my phone and uh, I shall come back, uh, no problem. But uh, let me read, uh, just uh, three persons charge, uh, hmm. once again. <clears throat> well, did you mention that Yakhruj uh, Mimbayin is still beyond the emanating from the, uh, between, uh, between the loyals and the ribs. So hmm. he translated uh, hmm. between the loyals and the ribs, because the word solvon also means mm. loins. Okay. <clears throat> a fluid gushing port means mm. uh, is accumulation of semen mm. uh, carry, carrying the sperm. Uh, one of the one of the minute or usually actively malic uh, gametes, uh, a, a mature a male reproductive cell in in semen, which serves to fertilize the woman uh, female ova. Mm. Sperms are produced by guests. Mm. Uh, each test has uh, 800 small uh, tabus. Okay, so in, the, in this... <laughs> take case, care, take care, take care. In the, All of this in tafsir al mawdudi so he's adding things, it's not the Quran. You say to me, if the interpretation is against the Quran, we don't take it. Where he got this is from? How come you don't question the stupid... The, oh, no, just to show you your hypocrisy. Just to show you your hypocrisy. We showed you what your prophet said. Mm -hmm which is the scholars they base in what your prophet said, you deny it, you don't want it. So you go to Al-Mawdudi, who is a kid, he cannot even join my classroom to spank him. Who is Al-Mawdudi, this guy? This guy became a scholar now, Dudi. We are not getting you Dudi. We are getting you Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain. We are getting you your biggest scholar, you get me Dudi. Why? Because Dudi, is having a new interpretation to fit with the word today, for the Quran is a joke. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, he is not Dudi. He is way higher than Dudi and Moody. So Ibn Kathir, when he translate, or he, sorry, he give interpretation, he is quoting what your prophet said, not his own. And in order for you to get away from this, you say, I am not going to accept Ibn Kathir, I want to accept Dudi. 
who wrote a book yesterday to explain something is not there. The Quran make it clear that women and men, both they have water. No, yeah, no. Hold on, let me show you everybody. Everybody will laugh at you. Everybody will laugh at you. You are not decent and your duty is a fraud. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, hold on. Me in the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to the chest. Do you see the word chest? This is what the Quran means, chest of the women. This is why all all scholars agree that this. Oh, shut up, shut up. You know, you, I give you time to speak. Now you are lying and you are duty. And now he is quoting for you that you are a prophet. He said, "Who said that? You are a prophet." He said, and proceeded from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the men and ribs of the women. And he, then he said, and and the, the, the it's a fluid, is yellow, fine in textures. The child will not be born except from both of them. And this is exactly what your prophet said. He's quoting your prophet. So which one is correct? The one who quote your prophet or the one who quote do thee? Yeah, that's why there are different, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking you, which one is more valid? The one who quote an authentic hadith from your prophet explaining the Quran or the one who is quoting books of science have nothing to do with the Quran. Which one is your duty? Muhammad or al mawdudi hmm. So we refuse what Muhammad say now. He is the prophet of Islam. He knew best what the Quran means. And now we go after duty because duty will avoid us from getting busted. Hey, just go, go charge your phone, go charge your phone, it's okay. Do you see how they run away? Anything you say to them, they will say, Oh, I don't know. Or they will say, Oh, it contradicts the Quran. Just to avoid the answer. Because it's embarrassing. So, anyway guys, thank you all for being in here. Please don't forget to watch, share, and like my videos. God bless you all. Bye-bye.